Hi, right, it's cool again here at Michigan Motors. Today we're going to be going over the Green Power. It's the VR1 package. It comes fuel injected or carbureted. Today we're going to be showing the fuel injection setup. We have full fresh water cooling on this engine, so it cools the block and the exhaust manifolds. Here's our crank driven raw water pump, our low pressure fuel pump, and our high pressure fuel pump. Here's our alternator, our overflow reservoir for the closed cooling bottle. Here's our older style Volvo OMC exhaust manifolds and risers installed. We're still using the round 10 pin connection. If you have a square connection, you can adapt it to this. It includes a three inch extension to wire that in also. I'm gonna take off the Vortec engine cover just so everybody can see the, the beauty of this injection system. Using the Delphi uh, MEFI 4A and 4B controller. Here's our relay box. Here's our injectors. It's our injection rail. Everything on the engine is US Coast Guard approved, stamped. What makes this special with the VR1 is that we're using a 12 and 3 quarter inch flywheel and a 12 and 3 quarter inch starter with the flex plate. So for your two, uh, your older 270, 280 Volvo MC drives, this will still bolt up. There's no adaption required right here. Our engine diagnostic tool will plug right in. We're using the, the Delco flat cap distributor module, coil. Here's where we're going to tie, tie in our, our throttle right here. And uh, let me fire this bad boy up. Just going to give it one second for the fuel pump. liter rated at 325 horsepower at the crank this is a great upgrade for your older boat and uh, let's see what this bad boy can do here in a second